Hi everybody, it's Kathy and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I hope that you'll go ahead, click the subscribe button and the little notification bell beside it. So today I'm doing my empties. My bucket is pretty full and I'm just gonna start digging them out and giving you mini reviews as we go along in no particular order. So first up is a great drugstore shampoo. Uh, it works really well for my hair. I have fine to medium coarse, I guess you would say, very thick hair and it is the Dove Oxygen Moisture Shampoo. I really like this shampoo. It gives my hair a lot of body. Uh, the only thing I will say about it is that it lasts maybe one and a half to two days in between shampoos, whereas the salon shampoos, I can usually get three days out of it before I have to wash my hair again. We have some Shiseido cotton wipes. These are the ones that I keep going back to. I have tried a couple other brands, one of them being the Quo, Q-U-O. It's a brand that we can get in Canada at Shoppers Drug Mart. They are good, but for whatever reason, I always come back to the Shiseido and I stock up when the Sephora has their 20% sale on. And just a little tip, what I normally do is I take one um, cotton and I split it in two, and that will do me morning and evening for my toner. I really like this IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup, their three-in-one melting cleansing balm. I got this in a pack on one of their showstopper specials. Probably my favorite cleansing balm, but I don't like the price. I believe it's around $48 Canadian. I'm not willing to pay that for a cleansing balm, so I'm gonna wait until uh, they have a sale or I can get it in another value pack. So if you could recommend to me a cleansing balm that's a little more economical, just uh, please let me know in the comments. I've been doing a lot of masking lately because for whatever reason I'm having some issues with some dry skin on my chin. And uh, these are just some various masks that I picked up. One is a Life brand mask. Uh, it was fine. This was a mask, I believe I got five in a box and I bought them at Winners and they have hydrolonic acid in their, their sheet mask. These are great. Another one that I really like from Shoppers Drug Mart was the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm and it was very hydrating. I liked that. But probably the one that I've liked most um, was the Neutrogena Hydro Boost 100% Hydrogel Mask and it's full of hyaluronic acid. It really, really made my skin feel moisturized, but I'm gonna give you a tip. Be smarter than me whenever I took it out. Um, I believe it was this one that came in two, what, did it come in two pieces? Yes, I believe it came in two pieces and I didn't know that, and when I pulled it out, I got the mask all sort of tangled up with each other, but it was fine once I got it straightened out, but just be aware of that that there are two different sections um, with this mask when you take it out. But it was very hydrating and I really liked it and I'll definitely be repurchasing those. I had bought the Aveeno Baby Calming Comfort Lotion for a body lotion in the lavender and vanilla scent. It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase this particular one. It just, it didn't wow me. Something that I really like and I've talked about before was the Origins Ginseng Refreshing Scrub Cleanser. This is a really nice cleanser. I like to feel that I, there's a little bit of gentle grit in my cleanser, and I believe this has pieces of orange peel in it. It smells great, and it really wakes me up in the morning. So this is a great cleanser that I highly recommend and have repurchased several times, and will do so in the future. Another favorite cleanser is by Body Mary, and it's a glycolic acid cleanser. I use this pretty much every morning. And again, it has a little bit of a gentle grit to it. Highly recommend this one. I went through another of my Nordic Naturals Ultimate Omega. Love these fish oils. Uh, there's no aftertaste. A lot of fish oils, you get that sensation where you have to burp and then um, you taste fish. And this is the brand that I always reach for. It doesn't have that issue. Sometimes I have to take melatonin at night to help me get to sleep. Um, I've, the last little while I've become a very restless sleeper. I don't know if it's my age or hormones or what it is, 
but I can be falling asleep on the couch and the minute my head hits the pillow, I'm wide awake and it could take me three hours to fall asleep some nights. So I usually take um, one or two of these. These are also great when I travel and there's a huge time difference. In about three to four days, this will get me back on my uh, sleep schedule. But maybe talk to your doctor if you've never tried melatonin before because it could interact with some of your medications that you're on. So always consult with your doctor first. Next up was a product that was sent to me and it's the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Body Yogurt. It was very nice. It was very uh, thick uh, body moisturizer. I really enjoyed it. I haven't repurchased it uh, simply because I'm using my Vaseline Mature Skin lotion that I really like, but this was a nice one. I like that it comes in a tub as well. So that's that one. Went through another Thayer's Witch Hazel. This was in the Rose Petal. Uh, someone that's dealt with oily skin all of their life. I just still feel the need for a toner even though my skin is veering towards more normal. Sometimes a little on the dry side as well. Uh, it just makes me feel cleaner and it, it's just something that I enjoy doing. And there's no alcohol in this so it's not drying. I went through another CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion. I always buy the PM because there's no sunscreen in it. I use this on days whenever I feel that I don't want a heavy moisturizer. Um, I do have a backup and I'm using it as well. Oh, this was a nail polish remover and it was, I bought it at Shoppers. It's their brand Quo. Uh, I like it because it has the little pump so I, um, I need to replenish that. Not that I wear nail polish all that often, but like to have it. Oh, this was a Sally Hansen No More Mistakes. It was a manicure cleanup pen. I think I only got to use it once and then it dried up on me. So uh, I'm not gonna recommend this one because I feel that it didn't, um, didn't last that long. Next up is my Vita Tree Vita Women's Formula. You've heard me speak about these multivitamins. I ran out probably about two months ago and I haven't uh, replenished my stock because the prices won't way up. I, can only, I can't get it on the shopping channel anymore. I can only find it on their website and it's very expensive. So I'm trying to look for something that uh, is a little more economical. But if I don't and I continue to get the hot flashes, I will uh, go ahead and order some of this. Oh, here's a small sample of the uh, Joe Malone. This is the Blackberry and Bay Cologne. I have since went ahead and purchased a full size bottle. I've tried several of her different scents and this was my favorite out of all of them. To me, this is more of a fall winter fragrance that I would wear. It's a little more heavy than what I'm used to wearing, but uh, I did like this. This was a little sample bottle of Meissler Water by La roche Posay. And last up was a full-size IT Cosmetic Secret Sauce. You know that I love my IT Cosmetic skincare. I've done several videos on uh, their products and I alternate between the Secret Sauce and just their uh, confidence in a cream. I do feel that this is a little too rich for me. So instead of, um, replacing the secret sauce I got another confidence in a cream but this is a nice sauce it has lots of um, anti-aging properties in it those are my empties and we'll start filling the bucket up again if you've not yet subscribed to my channel I hope that you'll go ahead click the subscribe button and the notification bell beside it I'd love to have you here I do all sorts of videos on beauty lifestyle and I've gotten into doing weekly vlogs as well Thanks so much for spending your time with me today and have a great day. See you soon. Bye.